1974, a high school biology teacher named Al Lacusta discovered a few dinosaur bones at Pipestone Creek near Grand Prairie. It would later turn out to be one of the densest bone beds ever found. So far, 37 Pachyrhinosaurus lacustae dinosaurs have been uncovered, but it's believed there could be hundreds or even thousands more. Pachyrhinosaurus lacustae is not found anywhere else in the world yet. Jackson is working in the lab at the Philip J. Curry Dinosaur Museum in Wembley, Alberta, a 20-minute drive west of Grand Prairie. This is the left jawbone of a Pachyrhinosaurus. They can be very aggressive and very protective of themselves. So even though that they're a large plant-eating dinosaur, they are covered with very sharp, very big horns. So what happened here 73 million years ago that caused all these dinosaur bones to be in one place? The animals were probably trying to cross a river, a flooding river, and then hundreds of these animals um, from these very large herds uh, would drown in these waterways and then sort of wash downstream. That major event drew a crowd of other dinosaurs. When these animals died, they would have formed basically a smorgasbord for the meat eaters at that time. <laughs> Teeth have been found at Pipestone for meat eaters like the Albertosaurus, a cousin of T. rex, and Boreanicus, a raptor like dinosaur. The Philip J. Curry Dinosaur Museum is open to the public. You can even be a paleontologist for a day. Find out more at dinomuseum.ca. Friday Fun Facts is brought to you by RPAP, Alberta's Rural Health Professions Action Plan keeping healthcare close to home.